for sure people don't think about going to Japan. They don't even think that there's snow out there, but uh, like there are meters and meters of snow. We're trying to picture a different uh, perspective of Japan. We've never really seen lines, actual lines within Japan and that's what actually we've been looking for. I don't really have any big writing in my pocket so far. But uh, after I've done a good line, uh, I'll feel happy. I, I know that. It was sunny uh, maybe 10 minutes ago. Just when we arrived, clouds came in and we're waiting for the next hole. Um, it seems that we're gonna have to be very, very patient for the next two weeks. We've been here for 15 minutes, 20 minutes now. We keep getting tiny clear patches, but not good enough. Oop, there might be a patch coming. It's be winter. False alarm. It's even more foggy now. started off pretty much uh, not too great and it's pretty just gradually gotten better and better as the trip's gone on. Went from uh, wanting to change my ticket and go home to riding three feet of pow and dumping out. There's some destinations where you know how it works and you know that eventually if you take enough time it's gonna work out. Like a trip like here is a bit more like a discovery trip so we know we could get some good stuff but it's not guaranteed. It's really unbelievable when you get there, you see the terrain right around the resort and it's crazy to realize that uh, such few people go and actually ride the lines. It's definitely one of those rare places in the world. It's got a coastal snowpack, which is similar to Mount Baker. You don't see so many slides over here, but I mean, you never know. The human beings, I mean, this small, next to the uh, Mother Nature. Here, you're this small the time. <laughs> Terrain's really fun, it's very featured, and once you can kind of get out of the trees, it's, it's all time. We took a bit of time to really figure it out, but um, all it takes is one good line to be back in the game, get the passion back and, and like have a ton of motivation for the rest of the season. Going to Japan is not just about riding and uh, it's going to a totally different world with a totally different culture and, and a totally different perspective on, on snow sports, on life and everything.
We're gonna go sleep in a snow cave up on the ridge and hopefully get some sun in the morning. We have a small window tomorrow, so we might be able to get those lines across the ball that uh, only get light very early in the mornings. Pretty cool. It's kind of like being a kid and building a fort again. Uh, they forecast minus 27 wind chill uh, this night, so basically the coldest night of the whole trip. We just met. It seems that we're not exactly on the same uh, same <laughs> floor level. <laughs> it's gonna make a duplex. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we're supposed to, uh, to come out on that ridge and kind of squeeze in into that small tent. But uh, the snow cave definitely saved us those important 10 degrees, I would say. Good, How's huh? the soup? Delicious, actually. I don't know if it was because it was actually delicious or because we're in a snow cave. But either way, it tasted great. We're gonna get up before sun and drop into some pink light, hopefully. Yesterday, I was able to stand up right here. And we woke up, and I can barely sit. It's been going like the whole roof. Snow cave almost collapsed, but we're alive. And I, I can't wait to go down and have a hot cup of tea. It's 10 to 8. It's definitely not beer o'clock. It was good riding, but we didn't catch the best light. 